Hello everybody, Monday, June 21st, still in this beautiful solstice, summer solstice energy. So I'm being called to talk a little bit more about a video I did on the Twin Flames. So, you know that's a created word. And I believe in my other video it came through that, you know, it's just another way to sink into a program that isn't yours that you're in lack so what they've been sharing with me for some time now and I, I believe I've touched on it with many different uh, videos is all my themes are about go within go within don't look for everybody else's versus everybody else's books and all kinds of things that take you down a direction that may not really resonate with you. But your programming says they must be an authority on it. Okay. So at this point in time in my life, I... I work with my higher self and my higher self guide team. And I said on my previous video that my twin flame is actually on the other side, working with my spiritual development. And when I came to realize that, it was a little odd. But then there's such a deep relationship now it's unbelievable and I designed it that way before it incarnated into this life so now how do I work with it in the best way to be the best and highest vibrations in what we're doing while we're in this physical vessel learning to live and living to learn how to awaken all of this to understand that we're so much more than two feet on the ground all right so understand that twin flame does not mean you you have one twin flame or you have one soul mate I mean my god the odds of winning the lottery are better than finding this okay so You'll always come from a place of lack, a place of longing, a place of disconnected and separation, which is what the old programming has mastered each lifetime and we keep falling into the same trap. When our connection cord runs through our soul star, through our body into the earth star, and we're fully connected all the time. We've allowed the ego mind to be our driving force. If it doesn't make sense in the ego mind, therefore it can't make sense. And even if you look at science and history and archeology span and all these things, look at all the new discoveries. You know, I, I always go back sometimes to the story about, uh, I think it was Galileo and a couple other people possibly. I think th the church had said that the sun revolves around the earth because we here on earth, according to the church, were the end all be all. And when it was discovered that the earth revolves around the sun it was a life threatening do not tell anybody that and it took a couple decades or more i think before that was even allowed to uh, let the people know that actually the planets revolve around the sun not the other way around but I think some people thought they would lose power if what they have declared was being corrected. 
the last two years haven't shown you the deceit, the clouds, the fog, the downright manipulation of information and then watching many constitutional people, the constitution within yourself, just follow along. I've seen people look at menus longer than making this decision before this. You know what I'm saying? You gotta ask questions. So when we go into the twin flame thing, it has absolutely nothing to do with physical gender, physical genitalia. It has to do with the balance of the masculine and feminine energies within each person and of the earth and of the universe. It's an energetic thing. So if you're longing for something outside of yourself, then simply ask, what is it that this feeling, what is this feeling? Help me to understand this feeling. You know, we, we take time to um, develop new budgets, develop new diets, um, develop ways to either deal with our job or we just <clears throat> let it go and get another one and, and so on. We get rid of friends. We keep family at arm's distance, you know. If you're in relationships of any kind that are not working for you, take a step back and ask what's going on. You're not committed till death do you part. That's a man-made thing because the more they could keep people together in those ways, the more churches financially benefited. Just go back and look at history when a man and a woman and a family would go into a seminary or whatever for their life. And generally at that time, life expectancy ended sooner for the man, longer for the woman, and the woman would just take the money and leave. So then it was designed that only unmarried could go. And then of course, then it became a safe haven for um, sexual preferences that were not okay outside. And I'm not talking about adult and children here, okay? That's a whole other ball game. Whole other ball game. And they're telling me to, <laughs> don't go there. Stay on the twin flame thing. Stay on the self-empowerment thing. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. There are many wonderful relationships here for you on this earth. And those relationships will come and go out of your life based on what your frequency and vibration is. And if you're working on elevating, ascending to higher levels, cancel all delete of the things prior decades at ages that maybe you wouldn't repeat at this age, reformulating, you know, your priorities, the importance, feeling more things in your heart Realizing that time spent with a loved one is better than doing, doing, 10 and two errands. Do it tomorrow, do it tomorrow. If anything in the last two years should have taught you that that's not present moment and everything could be very different tomorrow. So, I really want you to just really go here, just right here to this beautiful heart center. So you've got your physical heart and then you've got your high heart. Tap into that. 
tap into the feelings and watch the feelings raise the vibrations. And you're going to do this through the imaginary mind of what it would be like to have a lover's relationship, friendship relationships, how you'd like them to feel. And then assume the position and carry that frequency there. Watch what occurs. New people may pop into your life. And then of course our guides can be can be playful. They could be like, oh yeah, let's see how long she holds that. Okay, we're gonna toss this out in front of her and see how she acts with that. And Let's get the meter out and see how far she dips her frequency and vibration. Oh yeah, they'll play it. And then all of that is is a lesson of like, oh, I just felt that dip. Ooh, let me take a moment to bring that back to where I felt so good. Because remember, nobody has the power to turn your meter down. Nobody has the power to create a bad day for you. You can feed into, oh, God, traffic. Oh, I forgot my lunch. Oh, this happened. Ah, oh, someone's okay to my office. Ah, oh, this phone call. This child did this. It's all in how you, you react to things. So I want you to really take a look at labels that have been created for you and ask, do these labels stump me? Do they give me any kind of paralysis? I can't move forward because I just can't get past what I've heard and seen regarding this particular topic. And I'm talking any, any at all. And see if you can't hit cancel, alt, delete, breathe through it. So it doesn't exist for me. I have endless boundaries, endless borders, endless waves of information. You may feel restricted, and you may feel restricted, and you may feel restricted, but I, I choose to feel more free, be more free. Put all those nets and cages and words and things just they just dissolve they're gone and don't worry about how people look at you or what they say oh you can't do that yeah I, I actually I I can and hopefully the courage that you take will pave a path for others to follow you so then now they start standing up and realizing oh I'm not confined into all these labels, words, themes, broadcasting out from all these different pathways that are being fed by another pathway that may not be for the highest good of yourself and for the all. And if you're in a relationship of any kind that isn't working, ask yourself, what is it that I desire here? What What is not working that you know, is it something that I just need to just dissolve and, and have the courage to walk away from? Is it something that uh, perhaps could be listened to and maybe some things could be tweaked and changed between two people, between groups, between whatever? And then be ready to walk the path that is for the highest good, even if it seems like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm going through a divorce or I'm selling my house or I'm leaving my job or leaving my state or I'm no longer talking to this child. I'm no longer talking to a sibling. I'm no longer this or that. Be ready. Because sticking with it and stuffing your, your, your heart is enabling you from expansion. And we're here to expand. 
Not in the COVID way with 10, 20 pounds of junk eating. <laughs> okay. But we're here to expand our consciousness, our energy, our light body. We're here to really disconnect and dismiss all of the pre-programming that has all these conditions to it. And watch yourself get so much closer to who you truly are and all the guides that have been around you all the time. And your direct connection to source has never been severed, ever. It's just been dumbed down and hidden from you to make you feel that everything is outside of you when you're actually completely there. You just need to clean the windows, clear the fog of all the other stuff that's been placed upon you. And that's what this lifetime is about, my friends. Get on that quest. Open up those inner visions. Journal things down. And watch people around you get a little resistant because they sense that, oh, they're getting, they're expanding. They're getting kind of, oh, I may suffer because they're expanding. Oh, energetically, I need to, you know, and they, they create this resistance for you. And you just keep raising and just that resistance is no longer going to dictate how far you can expand. Get on that journey. And if I can help in any way with coaching, healing work, intuitive stuff, let me know. Happy to be a part of it. Be a part of you. Part of this pathway. And it's a great pathway. 